We continue today with Chapter 11, From Darkness to Light. When you are weary, remember you have hurt yourself. Your comforter will rest you, but you cannot. You do not know how, for if you did, you could never have grown weary. Unless you hurt yourself, you could never suffer in any way, for that is not God's will for His Son. Pain is not of Him, for He knows no attack, and His peace surrounds you gently, silently. God is very quiet, for there is no conflict in Him. Conflict is the root of all evil, for being blind it does not see whom it attacks. Yet it always attacks the Son of God, and the Son of God is you. God's Son is indeed in need of comfort, for He knows not what He does, believing His will is not His own. The Kingdom is His, and yet He wanders homeless. At home in God He is lonely, and amid all His brothers He is friendless. Would God let this be real, if He did not will to be alone Himself? And if your will is His, it cannot be true of you, because it is not true of Him. O oh, my child, if you knew what God wills for you, your joy would be complete. And what He wills has happened, for it was always true. When the light comes and you have said, God's will is mine, you will see such beauty that you will know it is not of you. Out of your joy you will create beauty in His name, for your joy could no more be contained than His. The bleak little world will vanish into nothingness, and your heart will be so filled with joy that it will leap into heaven and into the presence of God. I cannot tell you what this will be like, for your heart is not ready. Yet I can tell you, and remind you often, that what God wills for Himself, He wills for you, and what He wills for you is yours. The way is not hard, but it is very different. Yours is the way of pain, of which God knows nothing. That way is hard indeed, and very lonely. Fear and grief are your guests, and they go with you and abide with you on the way. But the dark journey is not the way of God's Son. Walk in light, and do not see the dark companions, for they are not fit companions for the Son of God, who was created of light and in light. The great light always surrounds you and shines out from you. How can you see the dark companions in a light such as this? If you see them, it is only because you are denying the light. But deny them instead, for the light is here, and the way is clear. God hides nothing from His Son, even though His Son would hide Himself. Yet the Son of God cannot hide His glory, for God wills Him to be glorious, and gave Him the light that shines in Him. You will never lose your way, for God leads you. When you wander, you would undertake a journey that is not real. The dark companions, the dark way, are all illusions. Turn toward the light, for the little spark in you is part of a light so great that it can sweep you out of darkness forever. For your Father is your Creator, and you are like Him. The children of light cannot abide in darkness, for darkness is not them, in them. Do not be deceived by the dark comforters, and never let them enter the mind of God's Son, for they have no place in His temple. When you are tempted to deny Him, remember that there are no other gods to place before Him, and accept His will for you in peace, for you cannot accept it otherwise. 
Only God's Comforter can comfort you. In the quiet of His temple, He waits to give you the peace that is yours. Give His peace, that you may enter the temple and find it waiting for you. But be holy in the presence of God, or you will not know that you are there. For what is unlike God cannot enter His mind, because it was not His thought, and therefore does not belong to Him. And your mind must be as pure as His, if you would know what belongs to you. Guard carefully His temple, for He Himself dwells there and abides in peace. You cannot enter God's presence with the dark companions beside you, but you also cannot enter alone. All your brothers must enter with you, for until you have accepted them, you cannot enter. For you cannot understand wholeness unless you are whole, and no part of the Son can be excluded if he would know the wholeness of his Father. In your mind you can accept the whole sonship and bless it with the light your Father gave it. Then you will be worthy to dwell in the temple with him because it is your will not to be alone. God blessed His Son forever. If you will bless Him in time, you will be in eternity. Time cannot separate you from God if you use it on behalf of the Eternal. And from the workbook, Lesson 80 Let me recognize my problems have been solved. If you are willing to recognize your problems, you will recognize that you have no problems. Your one central problem has been answered and you have no other. Therefore you must be at peace. Salvation thus depends on recognizing this one problem and understanding that it has been solved. One problem, one solution. Salvation is accomplished. Freedom from conflict has been given you. Accept that fact and you are ready to take your rightful place in God's plan for salvation. Your only problem has been solved. Repeat this over and over to yourself today with gratitude and conviction. You have recognized your only problem, opening the way for the Holy Spirit to give you God's answer. You have laid aside deception and seen the light of truth. You have accepted salvation for yourself by bringing the problem to the answer. And you can recognize the answer because the problem has been identified. You are entitled to peace today. A problem that has been resolved cannot trouble you. Only be certain you do not forget that all problems are the same. Their many forms will not deceive you while you remember this. One problem, one solution. Accept the peace this simple statement brings. In our longer practice periods today, we will claim the peace that must be ours when the problem and the answer have been brought together. The problem must be gone because God's answer cannot fail. Having recognized one, you have recognized the other. The solution is inherent in the problem. You are answered and have accepted the answer. You are saved. Now let the peace that your acceptance brings be given you. Close your eyes and receive your reward. Recognize that your problems have been solved. Recognize that you are out of conflict, free and at peace. Above all, remember that you have one problem and that the problem has one solution. It is in this that the simplicity of salvation lies. It is because of this that it is guaranteed to work. Assure yourself often today that your problems have been solved. Repeat the idea with deep conviction 
as frequently as possible and be particularly sure to apply the idea for today to any specific problem that may arise. Say quickly, let me recognize this problem has been solved. Let us be determined not to collect grievances today. Let us be determined to be free of problems that do not exist. The means is simple, honesty. Do not deceive yourself about what the problem is, and you must recognize it has been solved. Let me recognize my problems have been solved. Today we make the turn from darkness to light. The text reminds us that there is no suffering or pain that is part of God's will for us. God knows no attack. God's peace surrounds us silently. God is very quiet. We are entitled to miracles to the Kingdom of Heaven, to complete joy and happiness. The light has come. Today we see the light's beauty all around us, in us, as us. Jesus tells us in the text, out of your joy you will create beauty in his name, for your joy could no more be contained than his. The light is who we are. The dark thoughts of the ego cannot enter. The great light always surrounds us and shines out from us. We have no need of dark thoughts, dark companions today. The dark companions, the dark way are all illusions. Turn toward the light, for the little spark in you is part of a light so great that it can sweep you out of all darkness forever. The children of light cannot abide in darkness, for darkness is not in them. Today we remember there are no other gods to place before God. Today I accept his will for me in peace. Today I remember that all my problems have been solved. There was only one problem, the belief in separation, and this has one solution, the atonement. Salvation is accomplished. Freedom from all conflict has been given. Today I accept this fact and take my rightful place in God's plan for salvation. Absolutely amazing. My only problem has already been solved. I am entitled to peace. I accept the correction. My problems have already been solved.
let me recognize my problems have been solved. <laughs>